What's happening everybody? Mike from Talk to the Mike here with another review and this is a second Wolverine fan film that I found called Weapon X. So it's pretty much it's all in black and white. Uh, EY, I'm in black and white again like the other one I did before with Gordon. Uh, I like to go with the trend. So this is pretty much just one guy. I think I think it's Striker. We never I don't think I even heard his name in it but I'm pretty sure it's Striker that goes and talks to Wolverine at a bar uh, wants him to come help him with a thing and then you get people coming in saying that you know you, you cause an argument and stuff and a fight breaks out and uh, that's when you see Wolverine do stuff stumbled upon this while looking for DC Marvel fan films uh, cinematography was really good I liked it uh, some of the acting was not the best um, and then there's Wolverine which I'll talk about later now the scene that I like is the uh, the end scene when he's you know he got shot and they think he's dead and he comes back to life and kills everybody else. So check this out. No, no. look what you just. <coughs> <coughs> Hang on, Petey. Yeah. You might want to run up. <laughs> 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 And there you go. So, this was a fan film that was fun to watch, but it had some a lot of issues. I did not like the acting of the guy who I think portrays Stryker. I did not like who played Wolverine. I found he was too small to be Wolverine, uh, and he tried too hard. Uh, mercenaries were not the best either. But the cinematography was good. Everything was good. The fight scenes were good too. Just a lot of that was, a, and again, some of the shootings, you don't see any anything happening. It's just a lot of stuff. And then there was Wolverine where he got shot, takes off his shirt, and he's got nothing there. So that's another thing, imperfection. Uh, this fan film actually might, it's still good, but it's going to get my lowest rating that I've given. And it's not to be mean, it's just, it was not one of the better ones I saw. I'm giving this a 2.5 out of five stars because of all these errors of all these missings and it was just but I know you can do people can do better I'm gonna check out the rest of this person's work I suggest you check out the rest of this person's work either too this uh, link will be in the description but uh, yeah it's it was it was sub it was okay it was still fun to watch uh, I will never say I completely hate a fan film because people put their money and their heart and soul into it, but this was actually one of the ones that I've given a, a low rating to, but still, it was still fun to watch. So, as always, if you've got a fan film or a short, anything, the email is always there if you guys don't already know it. Social media up there. Follow me. Send me a message. Follow me on these medias. Send me a message. I'll reply and we'll get it happening. There's also the YouTube right over here. Follow it over here. And I'll subscribe back. You'll get to see my other reviews for movies. Um, and my other interviews. And then once the strike is over. Back to making good movies. Like the big movies. Uh, good movies. Sorry. Big movies. Along with fan films. I'm going to try to do at least one of each three a week. So. But. Again. Thanks. Thanks. To you guys, thank you for watching me. If it weren't for you guys, would not be here. And as always, I'm Talk to the Mic. Take care. <laughs>